welcome to Learn Commerce PU Online Classes. forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates. Hello students, welcome to first PUC business studies online classes. Students in the previous class we have discussed about uh, commercial banks and uh, functions of commercial banks right. Well before that we have analyzed all types of banks. Uh, in today's class let us uh, move on to the next concept that is uh, e-banking. E -banking. Not it is uh, uh, e-banking, Tulu, e, no it is not, e means electronic friends, it is electronic, electronic banking. Students, after 1990s, that is uh, when the policy of uh, LPG was introduced, not your liquid petroleum gas, it is liberalization, liberalization, privatization and globalization, privatization and uh, globalization, we call it as LPG uh, during uh, around 1990s, that is 1991, the policy of liberalization was introduced. So, this policy was introduced just to make sure that the Indian markets will be open to the global economy. Namma Deshada ಅನಗತ್ಯಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ happy to work if there is freedom over freedom should not be there but some sort of control must be there then the employees will feel happy to work in the same way the policies of the government that is uh, export import policy exim policies those have been liberalized like uh, export licensing has been abolished no taxes on exportable goods 100% export oriented units have been established that is a 100% EOUs, then some sort of uh, uh, liberalization like licensing and um, that is uh, uh, tax exemptions, isn't it? Export duties, import duties, all these have been uh, removed which were, which were unwanted restrictions, right? Those have been removed, wanted restrictions were there. Agatya, en bekitu, niyantrana bekitu, adhan it kondi dhru. Adhre, anagatya wagya amadu antaha, ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅದನ್ನು ಆ ನಿಯಂತ್ರಣವನ್ನು ಕಡಿಮೆ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಅದನ್ನು ತೆಗೆದು ಬಿಟ್ಟರು ಸರ್ಕಾರ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ದ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಎ ಓಪನ್ ಟು ಓಪನ್ ಟು ದ ಗ್ಲೋಬಲ್ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ವಿ ಟ್ರೀಟೆಡ್ ದ ಎಂಟೈಯರ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಗ್ಲೋಬಲ್ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ವಿ ವರ್ ನಾಟ್ ರಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ವಿ ವರ್ ನಾಟ್ ರಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವಿ ವರ್ ರಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ದ ಎಂಟೈಯರ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ಗ್ಲೋಬಲ್ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಓಪನ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ because of increase in the business now after liberalizing privatizing and globalizing there were huge demand for indian products in foreign markets the volume of business increased volume of production increased demand increased production increased and sales everything has been increased everything was increased so what happened ultimately was controlling through that manual system it was beyond the control of the bank management because a number of checks drafts and other that is a payment uh, that is vouchers should have been processed isn't it so what they did was they brought in that is a electronic system they introduced digital system computerized system in the accounting field so what happened ultimately the transparency increased that is uh, the people can see in the computer screen how much balance is there all these uh, were made possible 
thanks to information technology technology has been developed in such a way that you can make payment while traveling where you can make payment even at midnight isn't it all these systems have been developed through that's a digital system digital system of that is a payment or everything has been introduced so electronic banking electronic banking is nothing but introduction of the digital system in the that is a banking banking transactions that is called electronic banking so the payment and all other banking or these transactions were made easy and carrying the risk of there is a hard cash has been removed uh, chances are there neevu cash idkondu hoguvaga kalla thana agu yaradu nimma pocket nu cut maarabodu isn't it athwa nimmanu follow maadikondu nimmanu shoot maarabodu so chances were there now it has been reduced because no need of carrying the cash you just make payment digitally right so that is called e banking andre namma banking system alli aa ella aguvantaha vyavahara gal enide adralli naavu en madide computer computer system digital system annu introduce madiddanne naavu e banking anta kariteve alli enagutade neevu nagadu roopadalli aa hanavannu kiseyalli athava bag alli idkondu hoguvantaha aa samasye irla ನೇರವಾಗಿ ನೀವು ಅಕೌಂಟಿಂದ ಅಕೌಂಟಿಗೆ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಿ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕಿನ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಇದೆ ಆ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ನೀವು ನಿಮ್ಮ ವ್ಯವಹಾರವನ್ನು ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯತೆ ಆಗುವಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಸುಲಭೋಪಾಯವನ್ನು ಬ್ಯಾಂಕಿನವರು ಕಂಡು ಹಿಡಿದ್ರು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಇ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಇ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ನ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಫೆಲ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಈಸಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಇ ಚೆಕ್ಸ್ ಇ ಚೆಕ್ಸ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ ಚೆಕ್ಸ್ at the time of introduction of the digital system computer system in bank bank employees were protesting they were against to the system but later what happened they understood yes it is very easy for us nowadays even if you, do, you want to deposit the cash no need of filling the slips just give the cash give the passbook to the cashier isn't it immediately he will enter the uh, that is deposit in the the uh, in in your pass passbook and your passbook balance increases your balance automatically increases through digital system you will have the record that is a uh, passbook is nothing but it is the it is it is the copy of banker's ledger right so whatever the banker makes entry in his ledger the copy will be printed and will be given to you as a proof that you have deposited money and there is this much of balance is there in your account you you are eligible to draw this much amount from your account that is what the final balance in your passbook is now there are many benefits because of e banking what are the benefit that derives let us analyze the benefits of e banking benefits or merit, merits of e banking right <coughs> first one is it facilitates digital payments and transparency transparency digital system or digital payments were made possible and which has led to the transparency in banking business transparency means what when you look into a mirror isn't it your there's a uh face will be reflected in the mirror correct in the same way when you see the computer screen whatever you have deposited or withdrawn that will be displayed on the computer screen you can see the banker's entry in your computer screen by by let us downloading the app bank app isn't it you can log into the system and you can see the balances and other transactions that you did in your in the bank so transparency was there no chance of any that is a uh, um, corrections like uh, in olden days in ledger you can apply that um, that is a correction fluid or you can uh, scratch it by using a blade isn't it then you can slowly overwrite on the figures now is it possible no because it is under the control of a central system isn't it no clerk or no officer can do any changes to the system because system is controlled by the head office or other central control system 
it will be only one. So, you have no access to all the, that is a clerk cannot access to the officers that is a, a page, is not it? Because there is a password for each of them, there will be fingerprint, is not it? A thumb should be uh, given, then only it gets opened. So, all these systems have been developed. So, digital payments was possible. Nowadays, uh, you know, you, you are doing it, is not it? Google Pay, is not it? All these are digital payments. Just uh, place the order, then make payment through that is uh, Google Pay or whatever the uh, name you call it, a digital payment you do, you will get the product at your doorsteps. No need of going uh, to shop or no need of going uh, to 10 shops for a selection because you will get the selection in the, in the system that is app itself, is not it? So, just uh, make payment, e-payment, digital payment it should be done and you will get the product at your doorsteps. In the same way, banking, you can do the banking work. Uh, it is a payment to payment, making payment to someone else. You just uh, uh, access to your uh, account should be accessed to that is a digital system so that you will get the there is a facility of uh, making payment through digital system. That is one of the benefits of e banking. Second one is it provides 24 hours around the clock service, right? Around the clock or 365 days in a year, 365 days in a year, is not it? So, every time at any point of time, even at midnight, you can make the payment, you can receive the payment. Your friend can make payment to you or you can make payment to your friend or you can buy the products even at midnight by accessing to the that is a different apps, is not it? So, that is another benefit of digital system. Third one is Customers can do permitted transactions can be done. Permitted transactions can be done even while traveling. Permitted transactions can be done even while traveling or uh, uh, by sitting in your comfortable sofa, isn't it? At home, you need not have to stand in queue. Um, one of the days, friends, in olden days, people used to stand in queue for getting the cash. Maybe a lengthy queue or half a kilometer queue in front of the bank to draw the pension, to draw the cash, is not it? Or to make payment to someone else, you have to stand in queue. That means, for doing one transaction in a bank, you have to spare at least half a day. You have to lose half a day of your time. Now, it is not like that, friends. Now, just sit in your home or in your comfortable uh, sofa or even at midnight, it strike it in your mind after one sleep, is not it? Then immediately log into the computer system and make payment uh, and close the close the deal. So, that is possible. Permitted transactions means the banker gave uh, that is a liberty to operate your account with certain restrictions, is not it? Within that restriction, you can do your transactions, you can do your digital transactions. So, that is a uh, third that is a benefit of e-banking. Next one is uh, there will be a financial discipline. Financial discipline can be maintained because all the transactions will be recorded, is not it? All the transactions will be recorded, the time, date, everything will be recorded along with the transaction. So, that you will come to know when I did this transaction, did this particular transaction. You can show this as a proof by sending a that is a screenshot, is not it? <coughs> you can take the that is a screenshot of that payment made. You can send e receipts to your friend that I made payment. Say this is the proof. You can provide that proof also. It will be recorded day wise and even time wise, it will be recorded. That is called financial discipline. Financial discipline, right? Yes, that is a next benefit of uh, that is a e banking. Next one is uh, greater customer satisfaction, right? Greater customer satisfaction. Customer satisfaction because people get satisfaction only when their work is done perfectly without loss of time, without having any risk. Taking cash and standing in queue in front of the bank, someone may snatch your cash, isn't it? A person may come um, 
by the, through a vehicle isn't it with a pistol in hand you may be having lakhs of cash to deposit he may show the pistol gun it you and he may take the cash and he will he may run away isn't it chances are there so this can be avoided those risk can be avoided uh, with the help of digital system so there is a greater customer satisfaction the customer can operate their accounts uh, at their flexible time at their leisure time without wasting their normal routine isn't it whenever they are free they can do their banking transactions so gone are the days going to bank standing in front of uh, that is a cashier's uh, uh, cabin in the queue isn't it wasting your half a day those are not there nowadays so this is another that is a uh, advantage of uh, e banking uh, may be asked for uh, four marks isn't it four benefits of e banking that may be asked uh, what are the benefits for the banks these are the benefits for the customers right now let us analyze what are the uh, there is benefits that are there for the banks e banking provides competitive advantage benefits to banks first one is competitive advantage there will be competition among the bankers do you know that competitive strength increases yes private banks public sector banks isn't it cooperative banks many banks are there <coughs> if you go to different banks they will give you different type that is a rate of interest on your deposits they may charge a different uh, that is a rate of interest on your uh, withdrawals or uh, maybe that is a loan given by them isn't it so it is because of the competition so there will be tough competition among the bankers because uh, some of the banks already got closed you might have, might have seen some cooperative sectors or uh, private finance uh, uh, finances you will see next day the name of a canteen hotel taj mahal isn't it instead of bank you had a deposit in that bank building is uh, someone else's uh, building they hired it on rental basis isn't it all of a sudden bankers they closed it only computers will be there and nothing will be there other big building belongs to someone else owner is someone else right so it is very easy to close such uh, uh, banks or uh, finance companies but there is more safety in case of manufacturing industries they cannot uh, uh, shift machineries and all these things all of a sudden right so it takes takes time so people will come to know here uh, they can easily or run away those uh, but there are some restrictions uh, that's imposed by reserve bank of india still we are seeing uh, some banks they are uh, getting closed because they are not eligible to compete they have no that is competitive strength with them if you fail to introduce the technology definitely you will be cornered wasn't it if you are computer uh, computer illiterate nowadays you will be treated as illiterate only wasn't it so in the same way here competitive strength of the banks increased because of the digital system because the time spent by a clerk or officer or a banker or gets reduced you can you can uh, resolve more number of transactions you can effect more number of transactions within less time with less cost because if a cashier passes 100 checks in a day isn't it uh, that is a manually and if he is eligible to, he, he can do 1000 checks he can pass 1000 checks in a day through digital system don't you think, uh, think the cost of that is uh, processing the checks being reduced yes time involved is also reduced so that is the benefit the banker will get so that the banker can compete with other banks uh, second one is uh, it provides unlimited network to the bank <coughs> unlimited network to the bank in olden days if your account is uh, at uh, kenra bank suppose karkala you are eligible to draw your money only from only from that is a kenra bank karkala not from elsewhere so you have to go to that particular branch only now because of core banking system you can draw your money from any branch 
you have money in canara bank karkala but you can draw money from any branches anywhere in india isn't it so that system has been developed because of digital system last point is that uh, load on branches can be considerably reduced reduction in the load reduced load on banks because the transactions can be done elsewhere cash can be drawn from that is atm counters atm what is the full form automated teller machines automated teller machines it is not automatic teller machine or not any time money so wrong there is a concept you will get any time money no no doubt but the actual name is automated teller machines atm okay so the because of these um, there is a digital uh, facilities the customer can draw their money without entering a bank premise isn't it atm counters go and uh, draw cash and uh, uh, do your work no headache of going to the bank and standing in the queue so these are the various there is uh, so the load on the particular branch gets reduced because different facilities are there customer can use even by sitting at home no need of going to branches so the burden of the this uh, branch particular branch gets reduced so th these are the three benefits of uh, uh, banks bank uh, benefits of that is e banking to the banks i um, will take up insurance in the next class uh, take down assignment mention mention any four benefits mention any four benefits of e banking system e banking system to the customers to the customers submit your assignment on time thank you for watching this video thank you don't forget to like our video and subscribe our youtube channel for all the updates